Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Today we're checking out Voxel Tycoon, a management sim set in an infinite voxel world that released last week on Steam Early Access. The way the game plays should be familiar to fans of old tycoon games like Transport Tycoon Deluxe, where you can set up supply chains from factories to cities with trucks, buses and trains, and watch the cities prosper. I played the game on stream yesterday and I really enjoyed it, so let's jump in for more in-depth look at game mechanics. Now when you first jump into the game, you will be starting in this like central area with new areas all around you. These areas you don't have access to early on and you will have to spend money to get them. Of course, you will be earning money in your first area and this one down here is the one that I bought. The reason why I bought it is because it had copper and uh, that's what I needed at the time. Now all of these areas, you can click on them, you can see they have a city. It costs a lot of money usually for them. The resources they have there and the stuff the cities demand. Of course, you can't zoom out too far out there you can't see what is beyond what lies beyond there but the game says that the whole place is infinite so there should be a lot of areas you can explore and just keep on expanding so first i started with these three cities out here that i went on and connected now first i went to play with romney romney which at that point had like 190 people right now it's almost up to 700 so that's much better it demanded uh, iron ore and it demanded coal that's the two things that it wanted and it did have this iron ore mine over here now Unlike Transport Tycoon Deluxe games, you have to build your own mining facilities. So I built an iron mine over here. You can build more as long as it is in here in this like deposit area. And as you can see, I built another one later on because I needed more iron. So we started with just uh, transporting iron over here and these guys use that ore. What did they use it for? I have no idea. It doesn't have any end product, unfortunately. So you just deliver the iron ore over here but it then it doesn't turn into something else, which is something I would love to see. It would be much more natural feeling. Like, which city just needs iron ore and doesn't do anything with it? Because later on, the city did demand iron bars, but I was the one that had to provide the iron bars and I could not use this plant over here. So what I did later on is build this iron foundry over here it's alloy smelter and uh, i connected it with a lot of these uh, tracks over here basically you do have conveyor belts that you can connect to different warehouses so basically we have three warehouses over here this one accepts iron ore and pumps it in here this one accepts coal and pumps it in here and combining coal and iron five iron ore and one coal gives you one iron bar which it then produces and it puts in here and then these iron bars we have trucks coming over here to the romney station and then they deposit it all the way back here and make money let's see how much money this bad boy is gonna make that's 2k it's pretty good price it's a pretty good price now of course the city demanded coal as well for their heating plant and we did provide that via a train as you can see over here this one just cashed in we didn't get to see how much money it was but you see, we went all over this rugged terrain. This is not the perfect building, but when you start, you only have like 750 or 650, something like that money. And that is all loan. You do want to repay the loan because you're paying interest every month. You can see right now from trade, we're making quite a lot of money per month. It's not that bad. I could go and repay it most of it slowly but surely but i didn't bother with that but later on when you have money it would make more sense to build a tunnel through here so the train doesn't have to go up up the hills and down the hills and all that stuff it would make it easier but this is where our coal plantation is i do have two coal mines over here as well they're both pumping because we have quite a lot of trucks coming in here going in different directions this one the train does go down there to romney but we also have trucks coming out here to Binghampton because they need to deliver to their heating plant that is uh, out here. This one also demands coal. And down here also to Skagway, which are the cities that I have connected. Of course, later on more stuff is going to be. But the same thing happened. Like I started building here first. Oh, look, this one now demands 
copper bars, which that that's new. See, I've not even started producing any copper yet. I still need to do research for it. I'm going to show you research in due time just to explain how it works. In any case, you know, this one first demanded iron ore and coal. I delivered those. Then he started demanding iron bars, but I did not have research for it. And the building was like over here. And because I couldn't provide iron bars to it, it went bankrupt and the building disappeared. It did reappear after a while. And at that point, I did set up this chain, as you can see. Now it is demanding... Uh, this is a hardware store, it's demanding wood beams. I have no production of wood beams yet, and that's something I wanted to do just to showcase how it's done, and we will do that in a moment, just explaining how things go. Anyway, I connected this town over here because passengers. So we have passengers over here. These ones are waiting, six of them for Romney South, and two of them for Bingy Down West. Oh, look at that, my company is growing. Oh, we can upgrade our headquarters. Well, that's, that's great. Balls Inc. Yes, don't question the name. <laughs> we could upgrade it. Value is pretty nice. Oh, that was easy. Didn't even have to pay for it. All right. Well, the next upgrade is 8 million. Oh, I guess when we get to 8 million value. Oh, okay. Okay. That's kind of cool. I guess we can get, I don't know what, when we upgrade. But there you go. So anyway, as I was talking, next I was connecting this place just to bring the passengers. And this place soon started demanding iron ore as well, and we we're bringing it via trucks from all over there. It's probably not the best idea because, you know, trucks are slower, train would be better. You can see it has no extra in storage, so if I were pumping out more uh, iron, it would, would make sense to bring it via trains or it would be great if there was like more iron deposits like as you can see this thing is huge over here it's just empty like these three cities were close by and their resources coal iron and wood were close by and their the rest is just nothing so maybe that's something we can expand on later on i'll i'll take a look at this one in a second so this is what happened over here i brought in iron then they started demanding coal and i brought that but they don't have anything else this one as you can see it's a smaller city now out here, this was the last one I connected, but is now the biggest, almost at 1,000 people, which is which is great. So this one first started demanding just wood. I brought the wood down here via train, as you can see, all the way from this area, which is which was this setup. Now later on, it started demanding planks, so we started getting planks out via a circular saw. This one takes one wood and produces two planks, so it's pretty good. Plenty of planks in here. Later on, I also set up this secondary train. This one takes planks and brings them to the new region that I bought. This is the region that we unlocked and these guys wanted planks, so we're providing planks. Now, I wanna, uh, I wanna connect this one via buses as well, so we can have a bus station over here. Now, this laboratory I built over here, just in the middle of nowhere, you're gonna be like, hey Coco, why is this here? I will explain that in a second how the research works. Now for research, it's it's interesting because you have to, you know, when you start a new research, let's say copper smelting, to do copper smelting research, I have to provide 200, 290,000 euros to actually do the research. It's gonna take 75 days. And I also need to provide 450 copper ore. And this takes in constantly, constantly. So you need to have copper mining somewhere and the reason why i did this over here is when i was researching some wood stuff because this is in range so this one was just taking wood this laboratory was taking wood from here to research stuff now my first research lab was out here next to the iron because i needed iron ore to research certain smelting i don't remember exactly what it was but this is how it went and that's why you kind of have to build well you don't have to build but it's kind of makes sense to build uh, your research labs next to you know stuff that's already established like iron and wood and all that stuff now now that we've done this i explained how kind of things work so let's actually show this you know how it actually works because we need to bring down here these wood beams and I have not started doing wood beams. It's gonna be a good price and I think we're gonna do it via train. So that's what we're gonna set up. Now first things first, we're gonna need to build a factory, another circular saw, which I'm gonna do out here somewhere, probably. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Now, I think I'm actually gonna put it right here. The reason for that is probably stupid, 
But we're gonna select, okay, start making beams. And, uh, and then we're gonna add a warehouse. A large warehouse? No, no, just, just a small warehouse. Something like this. We're gonna put it next to this one. And then I can connect these uh, via... I can connect them via a connector, like this. And I need to accept that this one is gonna be for wood. And I need to flip the conveyors, which is something that <laughs> took me quite a while on stream to do. And now it's gonna start bringing in wood. Oh, I clicked again. Never mind, it's gonna start bringing in wood. And this one should start making beams. Now it's producing them, good stuff. But we also, of course, need uh, an output. So we're gonna do a conveyor, maybe, like here. Sounds like a great idea. Let's do a warehouse quickly. Uh, let's go with a large one. And put it, like, right there. That seems like a great idea. And then let's connect it via this one. Make sure this conveyors go in the other direction. And there comes our beams. Perfect. Now let's say that this one is going to store beams in here. Perfect. And now we need to get a train going. Now let's actually see if I just build it next to it. No, it builds a new one. Which is unfortunate, but that's okay. It's probably wise to maybe not go over the road you can't build over there of, of course not so we're just gonna you know what what we could do is build a bridge let's see if we can build a bridge oh yes something like this oh ladies and gentlemen we've done it just had to go real high okay fair enough real high there you go now we have our connection to romney annex which is gonna be accepting all those beams yeah, that's, uh, that's a tall bridge. All right. Also, I built the most amazing depot ever existed. <laughs> oh, anyway, time to buy our train. This is where we buy a train. Let's buy the more expensive one. And we're gonna add, what? I think we're gonna need a state car. Yes, this one transports beam. So we'll buy a couple of these. Now, this train, we're gonna tell it to do a couple of things. So first we want to do set up a route. It's going to go to Skagway Halt. It's going to load up over here. We're going to tell them to load for beams. Wood beams is the one we want. Uh, I like putting that up here first. Then we want it to go down here to Romney and just unload all the beams. I'm going to save that. It's time we get our train out. Now, we're gonna tell it to go to the other one first, otherwise it's gonna be lost. It's already lost. Go to the other one. Then we're gonna have it turn around. Look at it go! And this bad boy is now gonna slowly but surely load up and be ready to go transport all the beams. Are you loading up on beams? I hope you are. It looks like it. Oh, the glorious beams. Yeah, since we are not really uh, coping with the production wood over here, let's go... Uh, and see what we have. Uh, sawmill. We're gonna need another sawmill. Otherwise, this thing is not gonna be producing. And let's make sure this can connect to all of that. Right there. Boom. That's gonna be more. Now, let's take a look at our new train that we just built. We can follow the vehicle like this. We're going on adventure, son. We can actually speed up the game. Because I want to see how much money we're gonna make. Out of all these beams, out of all these beams. Uh, let's see, ladies and gentlemen, have we done it? Are we making money? They're happy for the first set of wood that we brought them, or would be 12k! Hell yeah, now we're making money. So, because I haven't shown you how research works, let's click on the lab. We're going to use this lab over here. And we're going to start a new research. I wanted to do mining too, but for mining too, which is going to allow us to mine copper, do a stone quarry and a sand quarry, we're going to need a lot of money, but we're also going to need wood beams. And since we do have wood beams now, I can start the research. As you can see, it's going to be using wood beams and it's going to be using the money. And then it's going to start slowly but surely researching. And then we can open up on copper, which we have all the way down here. The copper ore is over here. It's going to be great and very useful. And we're going to transfer all that copper all the way down here. Well, after we sure make sure the copper mining is done. So we have to do that. Don't worry about it. And now let's all celebrate because Binghampton has reached 1,000 people. When we started, it had like 100 and so or so maybe. So yeah, 
it's become quite a metropolis now and that is voxel tycoon you make industry you transport stuff around you bring the stuff to the people as they need it and then you watch them grow and you help them grow now Keep in mind that this game is still in early access, so new features will be added as time goes on. But if you want to support the devs, the price is 20 euros right now and you can just grab it on Steam. As I said, it's in early access. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.